بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ محمد وآلہ وسلم السلام علیکم سٹوڈنٹس یو مست بی فائن ہوپلی ٹوڈے لیٹس سٹڈی سمال ایکسپریشنز ویڈ پاسٹ پرفیکٹ ٹینس یسٹڈے وی سٹڈی پاسٹ پرفیکٹ ٹینس and then there are underlined small expressions, small things, small words which we, we, which we use along with the past perfect tense though they are not the part of some, some expressions are not the part of past perfect tense for example, before we moved before we, we moved means before we shifted moved means shifted we had already sold the house sell, sold, sold sell is the first form sold is the third form we had already is a small expression it is an expression of time ok so we may use an expression of time along with the past perfect tense ok already mean before Number two, when she arrived home, she hadn't heard the news yet. Okay? She hadn't heard the news yet is an other expression of time. Already expression of time. Yet is an other expression of time. News of her failure. Okay? Our news of her success yet. Okay? We, we can also make it a long sentence just, just using some more sentences or some more words. Okay? Breathing <coughs> words. Number three, at the time. At the time is another expression of time. At the time is another expression of time. I joined at the time me at the moment moment at the moment I joined the company at the moment I joined the company mean just right now or just I joined the company at the moment I just joined the company okay at the time mean just few moments ago or few hours ago or few days ago I joined the company I had been a sales person for seven years. Before joining the company, I had been what? Sales person. For. For is used for another expression of time. For is used for a period of time. Okay. When a period, of, uh, when a period is unknown, okay, we use for. When we don't know where it started, okay? Exact time or exact date, I don't know. It's just seven years, okay? We don't know seven years ago in December or January or like this or that, or uh, 20, like 16 or like 2014 or 2016, 13, okay? That's the reason we are using for, okay? For is used for a period of time. We use for for a period of time. Clear? Number four, we had lived in Islamabad. He had lived in Islamabad since 2020. No, it's exact time 2020. Point of time. We use since for point of time when we when we can you know pinpoint the moment when we can pinpoint the moment okay we use since but when we cannot pinpoint the moment we use for okay we he had lived in islam bath since 2020 since he was a child since he was a child number five before they visited Murray before they visited Murray before visiting Murray they had never seen snow 
they had never seen snow. You know the, what are the meaning of snow? Snow is uh, kind of, you know, ice, you know, but it melts easily. Okay? It's a bit fluffy. <coughs> that is called snow. Okay? Ice is crystal-like, but snow is a bit fluffy, you know? Bit soft. Snow is soft, ice is hard. Okay? Before they visited Murray, they had never seen snow. So never is also expression of time. E O T expression of time. Clear? Number six. We had just had lunch. We had just had had lunch mean we had just eaten lunch. Another had mean eaten lunch. We had had is the past of uh, part of past perfect tense. We had just another had me eaten i am having my lunch clear i am having my meal i am having drink or i am drinking something i am having a glass of water clear so have and had had is used for in the sense of eating third form eaten had me eaten. We had just had lunch mean we have just we had just eaten lunch. We had just had lunch when our friend dropped in. Okay. Just is another just mean few moments ago. Exactly right now, almost few moments ago or few hours ago or few moments ago you can say. Okay. Just is an uh, again expression of time. It is again the expression of time. Okay. When our friends dropped in, dropped in mean, what does dropped in mean? When somebody comes to your house, or comes to you without prior notice. He doesn't call you. He doesn't give you a call before coming. He just comes to your house. That is called dropped in. Without prior notice, somebody is coming to your house, your cousin, your friend, or somebody else. He comes to your house without prior notice, without prior call. They do not call you. That is called dropped in. Okay, my friend dropped in me, my friend came to my house without prior notice, without giving a notice beforehand. That is called drop in. At once a guest comes to your house without telling you before, without telling you beforehand. That is called drop in. Clear? So this is how we use expressions, small expressions with past perfect tense. I think, I hope uh, you must have understood it properly. And you, if you have any question and queries in your mind, you may ask me offline or online. That's up to you. And uh, till then, I think, have a nice time. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.